Yo, what's happening, folks? I'm not sure if you watched the Pembrokeshire Murders on ITV, which was on in January. It's a three-part detective thriller based on the real-life Pembrokeshire murders, uh, or what they call the Coastal Path murders. I'm not going to give you a review of the series here today on this video. I'll tell you quickly that it's three episodes of around 50 minutes. I enjoyed it, although I do think it's got its flaws and I'm not saying that you definitely will enjoy it I'll talk about that a bit more later but what I want to talk about today is what's on the thumbnail and what's the title of the video which is the reverse of a trope that I often see in Welsh film and TV so I'm not sure how much you keep in touch with the Welsh news and Welsh current events in terms of film and TV which is one of the reasons why I've started doing these videos, but um, there's a kind of a trope which happens, which is that you often get um, Welsh roles that are played by non-Welsh actors, or you might even get Welsh roles that are changed to Scottish, Irish, maybe English, maybe even American, and also played by non-Welsh actors. I'm just going to be clear from the start, I don't have a problem with any particular actor being cast in any particular Welsh role. Uh, this channel is about representation. The things I talk about are how well and if Wales is represented. So if the actor is a good one, if the attempt to portray a Welsh person is a bona fide one, is a positive one, then I'm not really bothered. A good example would be maybe Bill Nighy in the movie Pride. Bill Nighy's he's an English fella. He's a famous actor, so he would have put bums on seats, and he does a dignified and respectful effort at the Welsh accent, or a Welsh accent. Um, we don't really get much accents from the north, still done well, but we do get the southern Wales accent, sometimes done okay. Another example is Gemma Arterton, or Arteterton, or whatever her name is, in the movie Their Finest. I've got issues with the existence of that movie, but her portrayal of a southern Welsh uh, accent is a decent one and it's respectful and she clearly put the effort in like Bill Nighy. So I've got no problem with that. I would ideally, I would like the actors to be Welsh because it gives our local performers, our national performers a platform and you've got an increased chance of having a authentic Welsh accent or dialogue or characterization, which I think is the best. But if the representation is good, it doesn't bother me. Hey, if Hollywood wants to come and make a film about Owen Glyn Dewitt or Gwen Llian the Brave, I don't mind them casting Gal Gadot or Russell Crowe. As long as, they, as long as the accent isn't bizarrely bad, then, um, you know, I don't mind. So if we're looking at bizarrely bad accents, Rachel Griffiths in Very Annie Mary, she wasn't even famous. So why they couldn't have got a Welsh person for that role, I've got no idea. And one this year from television, which the Welsh media were, were highlighting, was Stephen Graham, who's a blisteringly good performer, actor from Liverpool, who tried a Welsh accent in a TV show called, I think, White House Farm, which was notoriously bad. Another notoriously bad one from down the years was William Hurt in the film Second Best. Anyway, what the Pembrokeshire Murders does is almost the opposite of that. So all of the characters are Welsh characters are played by Welsh people. So, of course, you've got Luke Evans and Keith Allen. I'll talk about them in a minute. But you've got um, Alexandria Riley, who plays a kind of composite, I think, police character who's excellent. You've got Charles Dale, who's f uh, famous in the UK for shows like Casualty and Coronation Street. He's excellent. You've got Welsh faces, of course, like William Thomas, who's in everything. Um, Stephen Mio, another Welsh actor, and uh, Caroline Berry, who is excellent and hauntingly good as the murder suspect and the murderer's wife. Um, lots of... Oh, Oliver Ryan as well. Oliver Ryan is, um, plays the murderer's son, and he gives a heartfelt, again, and upsetting performance. I think you can catch him in the film Dune, which should be out this 
or next year. So you've got all these Welsh characters played by capable Welsh actors, which is great. Now, the thing I want to talk about is Professor, uh, Professor is Inspector Wilkins, I think his name was, the main character played by Luke Evans. Now, having watched the documentary that's also on ITV Hub, by the way, which is where you can catch the Pembrokeshire murders, is on ITV Hub, and I'll, um, I'll share that with you now. So here we've got um, ITV Hub, I think. And there it is. So you've got Pembrokeshire Murders. When you do watch it, be careful that you select the first episode because I selected episode three first. And when I saw this on the screen, I assumed I was watching the first episode. So I actually saw episode three first. But that didn't really matter because there's, it's not like a who done it. You know who the killer is. The story is about catching him. And talking of actors, um, Keith Allen is amazing, but we'll still talk about Luke Evans as Inspector Steve Wilkins. Now, having watched the documentary, which is also on ITV Hub, um, which is an hour-long documentary about the real-life killings, it's clear that the main character, the police inspector, is an Englishman. He's an Englishman from somewhere in between the Midlands, like Birmingham and South Yorkshire, somewhere like that. And so what the Pembrokeshire Murders has done is they not only have given a Welsh actor the role, they've actually changed an English character to a Welsh character. I think this is amazingly positive for lots of different reasons. The, the main one being is that it gives the show a, a whole extra layer and indeed a focal point of Welshness. Now, when you throw in the fact that it's played by one, one of our biggest bona fide movie stars in Luke Evans, who, you know, it's not his best role. He could probably do this in his sleep, just like the director, Mark Evans. But when you throw in that heavyweight um, contributors like Luke Evans and his namesake, Mark Evans, you've got a whole extra layer and Welsh context for this international show. And given that um, it's been done by World Productions for ITV and with the presence of Luke Evans, you'd think that this is going to go out to all those different countries across the world. And that then, making that main character Welsh, recontextualizes the representation of Wales within the space of the show. Now, talking about the other actor, are you going to enjoy this? I enjoyed all like two and a half to, to three hours of it. I thought it was excellently done. The key to it, though, is Keith Allen. Now, talking about representation of Wales, Keith Allen is a Welsh guy, um, but I think his relationship with Wales has always been kind of complicated. He was brought up uh, in a bilingual or Welsh-speaking household, but he's also been someone who's identified heavily with England and English things down the years, a bit like his brother Kevin, who directs Twin Town and all those films. However, Keith Allen just does a peerless line in Odious, doesn't he? He does an unmatchable portrayal of despicable characters, and here, um, not only is he just seemingly got the whole personality disorder, the range of personality disorders totally nailed down. He does like sociopath, sociopath, psychopath, narcissism, you know, um, obsessive compulsive, antisocial behavior disorder. He encapsulates all these things. And not only that, a near perfect South Pembrokeshire accent. So he hasn't just come in and done like a Rhonda Valley or a Swansea accent, which is the ones he knows. He's made the effort to give Steve Cooper, who is the killer, an authentic South Pembrokeshire accent, which, I mean, that takes some doing, you know, and the fact that he's gone to the effort to do that, I appreciate it greatly. And it, again, it gives his performance, which is easily sells this thing, a whole other layer of authenticity. So should you watch the Pembrokeshire murders? I don't know. I'd, I'd give it a go. If you're interested in Wales, how it's represented, um, I'd give it a go for the direction, for the writing, for Luke Evans' warm performance, for the, for the authentic Welsh cast, but mainly for Keith Allen. He is brilliant in it. It's a Welsh production that I think is going to grow across the whole world with a nearly all Welsh cast and one of our most prolific movie directors and one of our biggest Hollywood stars in a role that's been changed from an Englishman to a Welshman. For that, I totally salute everybody involved and I'm going to direct you towards watching The Pembrokeshire Murders. Diolch yn Gwilio. Ta-ra now. 